Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and in today's video, I will be doing the Fibonacci project once again. I've already uploaded this video, but by mistakenly, instead of choosing the Fibonacci video, I choose the longest word video and that was my mistake. I'm really sorry for that. But for now, let's continue with Fibonacci and Fibonacci is actually a sequence in mathematics, which is really famous and it's really simple that now let's... I, we can time with an example now for example we'll take five now five will be the sum of the preceding two numbers preceding the numbers which come back of them which is like three and two and when we come for one one mm -hmm. is the sum of the preceding two numbers which is one and zero so yeah that is it now let us start first we're going to declare a variable which will take a computer input and this input will be in numbers. So we're going to write int because it takes only numerical values in that. Now we're going to uh, make, I mean, add another variable which is n1 comma n2 will be equal to 0 comma 1. Let me give spaces. Now in this n1 will be equal to 0 and n2 will be equal to 1. This is the order. Now another last variable for now for this block it will be count is equal to 0. Now why count is 0 that will be told to you in the end of the program. So stay tuned. Let's leave a line to separate the blocks and now if num is equal to double equal to I'm sorry because we want to go for a comparison. So if num, now what is num? If the computer input is one, and, and of course one and one is equal, then the computer should print n1. So it should print n1. Now why n1? That's just self-explanatory. And now comment down below what is the value of n1. Now let's leave a block again and start. Now we're going to use the while loop right here. While count is less than num. How is count less than num? Like why we can say? Because of the numeral input is 1, if and while we are using together, just note that. If the numerical value given in the number, in the input, if it is more than 1, then count will be smaller to number, we can say. And colon, let's go down. First, it should print n1 again. If number is more than 0, then also it should print n1 and if it is equal to 1 then also it should print 0 which is n1 i've already told you the value of n1 okay now nth nth will be equal to sorry 1 equal to n1 plus n2 nth root we have that thing in maths n means infinite over there but not here now this is a bit complicated one which you will understand in the later one so just check it out n2 will be equal to n1 plus n2 now what is n1 plus n2 it's 1 and n2 will be equal to 1 now look at the series n2 is 1 and n1 is 0 and their sum which is n is equal to 1 again so this is how the Fibonacci sequence works. Now let's go further. Now n1 is equal to n2. Let's continue while we explain to you. Now n2 will be also equal to n. Now how n2 is equal to n? This I don't think so. I need to explain you guys. But you can just check it. This are the n1 and n2 respectively and their sum is 1 right now by this we can conclude that n and n2 are equal 
Now the last sentence which is count plus equal to one. So every time the while loop is you know right while loop executes the same block of code a many number of times right now yeah what it will do is every time count like now let me explain you it is 0 comma 1 and here we got the value of nth to be 1 right now this count would be increased by 1 every time Every time this whole block of code is executed, the count will be increased increased by one. And if it is increased by one, like this is the end, and this will be increased by one, which is two, it will become. And two will be the sum of preceding two numbers, which is n two and n. So this is how it will go on. So yeah, you can see we are correct. Test case one. The input was five. And 5 is the sum of the preceding two numbers, which is 3 and 2. So that is how the Fibonacci sequence works. And yeah, if you like this video, just like, share, subscribe. And yeah, also press the notification bell so that you are always notified when I have a new video uploaded. And yeah, guys, another few videos of the same project series of Python will be coming soon. So stay tuned for them. And yeah, bye for now.